hit his area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna be captain. So all oh, y'all wanna know what happened. I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. Salute to every single one of y'all that watch this content, whether religiously or in passing. Shout out to my guy, Showtime SP, and you know who I be. All right, so I'm going to talk to y'all about a couple things today, man. You know, battle rap is moving on. Everybody's got what they got going on. You got events coming up. You got Double Impact Gnome coming up. You got Easy's The Trenches car coming up this week. And a lot of things, you know what I'm saying? Some good battles on it. You got Reed versus Easy. You got Rosenberg versus Danny. You got Dot versus Enes. There's still some very good battles on there. Make sure you hit the rap grid, see the pay-per-view, you know what I'm saying? I think this card, it needs to be talked about and it continue to be broken down. But I have seen and I've been hearing about all of this stuff going on with Bill Collector, about did he release the card, didn't he release the card? And I want to do this, right? I'm going to go another route because I know how the, the, the internet goes and how everybody be. And I spoke to Bill last night and I let him know the same thing. I'm letting y'all know now because people hit me up or DM me. What you think about the situation? Boom, 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 boom. I don't think about the situation. I'll be honest with you. This, that's what I think. What I think is that, is that I don't think. And I, this is a message to whoever needs to see it or hear it. Stop letting these niggas trick you off the streets, yo. Like, y'all... Y'all artists have to realize, like, I need Bill Collector to remember that he's Bill Collector. You won a tournament for $100,000. You was in the finals of the URL tournament. You was listed as one of the top 50 battlers ever. The top 50 battlers ever is not going to be out here arguing with media, going back and forth with bloggers. Bro, you're never going to win on the internet. You should know that. You told me this before, that you're never going to win. People going to believe what they want, whoop de woo de woo So you need to take some of the advice that you gave me. I value you as a person because I know what you could do. I met your wife. You've been to my house. The only two people in battle rap out of everybody that's ever been to my house is Bill Collector and Showtime SP. That's it. Because like, I keep my circle small and my world small and I don't let the opinions of shit that people that probably don't fuck with you anyway rule you. You know how many times people will do an interview here, come here, come there. Why? Why? I have no reason to. I have my own platform. You don't give people access to you and then shit happens, and then you jumping on here, you jumping on there, argument here, argument there, bro. It's not even worth it, my nigga. It's really not. I'm sure you probably got hit up by more people in the past week to talk to you, to want to interview, to do all of this shit than you probably have in the last year. And for that, you should be like, nah, I'm good. Don't do no more interviews. You already said you, you claimed you didn't do it. You said you sent Easy to proof. Easy's not mad at you. He's continuing with his card. What is there left to talk about? And what you should have did from the beginning, I'm going to tell you what you should have did. When they accused you and said this and that, I would have said prove it. Prove it, next subject. I'm not going to be here to debate. My job is not to make you believe that I did or did. That's not my job. My job is to rap, to entertain. And then the last thing about it is, everybody's getting paid off of your expense except you. You know what I'm saying? You ain't, on your, you ain't, you ain't got no shit on YouTube talking about battle, talking about this. Everybody else. Everybody could take your brick, break it down, and sell it. Oh, this person can make a blog. That person can make a blog. This person make. Everybody could make money off of your shit except for you. That's crazy. If a nigga gonna make money off of me, I better be making money off of me. That's just the way you should be thinking. And that, and then, and, and I want to go even further. You know what I'm saying? Because that car, I don't even care. Like it doesn't matter to me because one way or another, these niggas was gonna find out about that car. It what? Did do? This is the thing. Do people think? that they wasn't gonna find out, because people talk. Whether you like it or not, regardless of who it may be in this industry, people talk. We find out about whole cards before they happen, we find out about whole events before they happen. Sometimes we even get the battles before they're released. We do, we do. As Battle Rat, we see these things, we know these things. So you gotta be cognizant of the fact that you're not gonna change nobody's opinion. So all of this extra shit, you run around, you talking about P told you to, uh, to do this shit with uh with a verb and all of that listen man that shit is out who cares who cares it doesn't matter it didn't happen so when you're doing this it's like being in a football game and you're down 27 and 7. now while 27 and 7 is not a, a improbable comeback unless it's like the fourth quarter with a couple minutes left but follow me if you're down 27 to 7 and it's the second quarter there's no one singular play that you can do 
to score 20 points in football. There's none. There's no one play. You have to get it back play by play. So would I say that to say this? With all this shit that was going on, and people saying the card, and you leaked the card, and booty booty boo, you saying that shit about P with Averb, that's not a play that's gonna make everybody say, all right, you ain't do it. It's not. You're not gonna make everybody believe you, regardless. It's just not gonna happen. 24 to 48 hours was all of this shit needed. You could've just said nothing. I said I ain't do it, life goes on. Niggas would've been talking about something else. They should be talking about something else. There's a whole fucking event going on. That's all I'm saying. But when you continue to give life to a situation, you arguing with this person, you arguing with that person. Every time I turn around, you got an argument with this. You you dropping, you put the nigga address out. You know what I'm saying? Boy, it wasn't no his real address. Way, it might have been, it might not have been. No way, but the fact that you did it has people looking boy, at it like, no way, what the boy. fuck you got going on here? So all I'm saying is, you're a top tier MC. I told you this yesterday, but I have to say it, you know what I'm saying? Because I just think that for public consumption, that you could be doing so much right now. You won a tournament. You're a dope battle rapper. Your battle with Sheed just came out. Why is your battle with Sheed that just dropped on the URL app getting less attention than who allegedly leaked the fucking card with no definitive proof? None. If you tell one person something in battle rap, you might as well have told everybody. What also? One nigga bring two niggas, then two niggas bring two more niggas, then those two niggas bring a few niggas that bring a few niggas that say what they say to you, nigga. Is what I'm saying. One nigga bring more niggas. Bring five niggas, bring four niggas. You tell one nigga, he tells another nigga. A nigga who's on the card finds out the card, he tells someone else. Or they go back and tell their employer, oh, hey, can I be on this card? Nah, you can't be on this card. They talking about it, they going down and down and down. Then what happens if a nigga says, well, why can't I be on it? True foe is on it. That's what, this like children. People will operate like children. Well, why can't I be on it? Swamp is on it. You think a nigga won't do that to try to prove their point? I'm not saying that you did, but I'm just saying, bro, this whole shit is crazy. Y'all arguing when I see you. I'ma be in New York and yeah, bro, that shit is wild because guess what? If something happens, it's all documented. It is all documented. Um, and I wanna say <laughs> it's all documented. But another thing is this, right? I wanna go even further. Um, was Easy wrong for throwing a card and booking niggas that wasn't on contract? No, he wasn't. He was not. I don't feel any way about it. Niggas book cards every day, B. He had to know that URL was coming. Regardless of whether he felt that way or knew it, he should have known that they was gonna come. Like, nigga, y'all, y'all, they don't like what he's doing. They don't want to see him succeed at all. He left them. So they don't want to see him succeed. They're going to do whatever they could to burn that shit down. They're happy that y'all got this turmoil going and who released the card and niggas is arguing. They're happy. I would not be surprised. I'm never surprised if they say, oh, this person was offered this or they threw this person an offer for that. You're talking about, oh, hold on, hold on. Because I, 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 I just don't see things the same way as a lot of other people. We're talking about the same niggas who gave screenshots to Charlie Clips from Rosenberg Raw in a battle, a private conversation. They gave the nigga the shit to use in an angle to sabotage you, Rosenberg Raw. That's what they did, right? Is that not what they did? Wake the fuck up. Is that not what happened? It happened, right? So you, we gonna believe the word of niggas who just gave text messages saying that another, like, that's what we supposed to believe? Like, when did the public trust grow to that? It is what it is. I'm not gonna jump on no side or jump on no bandwagon and, and like I know like I was there, I wasn't there, I don't know. But I will say this, I'm not believing niggas who just gave a nigga a text message uh, through a private conversation. I gotta smarten up, man. There's way too much money out here to be made. Um, another thing I want to say, Bill, this is one of your fucking, this wouldn't even make your top five beefs that you had. You versus Quiet Harlem Legend, all that shit wouldn't even make the top five. I'm sorry. You forgot you and Shotgun Sugar. You forgot about you and K-Shine. You forgot about when you and Rex was going back and forth. Huh? 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 You forgot about you and Shotgun Sugar. You forgot about you and Hitman, Hitman Lil' Bro. Nigga, you got classic beefs. Classics beefs. Bill Collector ain't got on no socks. You ain't got, you got classics after classics, my nigga. And this is what we were referring to in 2023. This is what you're doing. Please tell me it's a joke. If I see you on another interview this week, I'm gonna know that you joke. If I see you on another one. Respect to all the platforms out there, but if I'm Bill Collect, I'm gonna say, yo, I'm good. I done made, I done, I done did enough this week. If you wanna interview me, interview me next week. I guarantee you the niggas that wanna interview you today don't wanna interview you next week. It's not. And they're doing what they're supposed to be doing. 
Easy supposed to interview you. He's supposed to get that contact. He's supposed to. He's doing it. I don't feel no. He is supposed to do. If you want to come up here and jump into the field and argue and boop, 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 I'm going to record it and I'm going to put it out because at the end of the day, the bottom line is it's all about the bottom line. Okay? Do you get the bottom line? All right, cool. Let's make sure we stay straight. But, Bill, you got to tighten the fuck up out here. I'm not, it's not my job and I don't care about all these other, you know, this person, what this person said, what that person said, bro. So fucking what? I told y'all I'm at a point in life, at a point in life where you got it. That's my answer. You got it. Now, as long as I ain't, and no one ain't touching me, ain't hitting me, ain't beating me up, ain't shooting at me, ain't doing nothing to my family, you got it. You got it. You got it. And my other part of my life is believe whatever they say. Whatever they say, believe it, my nigga. I don't have time or the energy to be arguing and fighting online. You cannot win on the internet. What did I tweet earlier today? I'm gonna tell you what I tweeted earlier. What is this what I tweeted, right? And this is for this is for everybody, right? I said, uh, and I quote, uh, I said, I said, there ain't a single person on the internet worth you crashing out or losing your freedom over, especially over no damn battle rap. Your goal should always be to make it home at night. Everything else is just that. This is for whoever needs to read it. It's the truth, like bro, niggas care about perception more than reality. Who you perceived as is more is jading you more than reality. There should be no reason why a blog made about you should make you jump out the window like that. Niggas make blogs about me every week. Do you think I give a fuck how many blogs I respond to? Man, I don't care about these niggas. My house good, my kids good, my family good. <laughs> my retirement plan is good, my, I, my, my partner SP is good, business is booming, Patreon about to go up. I did it last night, it's created. I might even battle that nigga SP on there. Who knows what's coming to there? But it ain't gonna be no more free, Randy. We gonna still do YouTube, but wow. Uh, 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 uh. It's more bread out here, is all I'm saying. It's more bread out here. Continue to build, continue to grow, continue to develop. But the, you're not going to develop arguing and fussing and fighting with niggas online. You know what the people told me at Networks, you know what I'm saying, when I was on um, the news not too long ago? Uh, the, one of the reasons why they came and wanted to fuck with me and SP was because we're not argumentative figures. We're not going to be fighting. We're not going to be, we're not going to, we don't do that. Like, we don't do that over here. You know how many times SP wanted to go back and forth with somebody? What I tell that nigga, man, fuck that. You know how many times, like, a nigga make a blog or make, a, make up some bullshit about you? What I tell him, fuck that. Fuck them niggas, man. Keep it moving. I'm not. I done heard everything about me since I've been in battle. I heard I was in the army, nigga. I've never been in the army a day in my life, but I don't respond to it, because guess what? That shit don't pay my bills. A few moments later. So overall, Bill, tighten the fuck up. Nobody cares, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Get back to work, man. Like, y'all niggas up here arguing and fighting for what? Get back to work, like, like period. Zoom, 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 zoom. Shh, shh, shh. I'm here to tell you that we don't care. We don't care. But I will say this. When you are all heard that um, Chrome 23 was supposed to be releasing the battles, allegedly, allegedly, that that was the thing that they was like, no about. I don't know who told them. I don't know how they found out. I don't know if it was in the contract. But I heard, I heard, I heard that that was supposed to be happening. If that was the case, they probably was going to go all the way out their way to make that shit happen. I got shit to do, so y'all get to it, just like I am. God bless one.